Welcome to Bearwood. Sorry, it's in Brummy accent. Welcome to Bearwood. It is in it. Buster loves it, don't you? Any bird? Come on. Oh, look at that. eBay. Yeah. So this is nearly unheard of. I went into four charity shops and I bought nothing. And that's in Bearwood and I usually always pick something up. For some reason, it was all either overpriced or nothing there. So it, there's no guarantees. So I was thinking, like, you've seen the footage of me going to the charity shops, obviously. This past week I've been thinking or contemplating, like, do I actually need, like, charity shops? Because it kind of feels like I just do it for fun now. And then my real business comes out, obviously, like, car boots for, like, non-clothing items. But then clothing items, I just get a kilo sales, which are infinitely cheaper than charity shops. Having said that, you do find some amazing stuff at Cherry Jones. So, I don't know. I could experiment in not doing charity shops, but then I feel like I'm missing out. And I like doing it for fun. And I know there's people there like, oh, you shouldn't be going to charity shops. Buster. <laughs> this is like a dodgy area. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, it's probably rainwater from last night. <laughs> it's like a little pit thing. And I know we shouldn't let him off his leash, but it's kind of enclosed, so it's not that bad. See, so yeah, I don't think, I don't know if you remember, but one of my goals this year was to get a supplier, and that's specifically included. And I feel like I found... I found technically three, possibly four. So in terms of, like, clothing throughout the year, I think I'll be all right if I just stick to that. But then, charity shops is so much stuff. It was a thought that popped into my head. Maybe I don't need to do charity shops. I know some resellers who actually don't even go into charity shops anymore because they're too expensive. Oh, it's actually... look at that. Mum's new toy's I broken. I know, I'm so disappointed. It's coming out every time I use it. It's because and it's meant to be used on soil, not like weeded stuff, uh, ground. I thought it was for weeding. No. no, it's for soil. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and look what all I've done. They've done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. You come out, <laughs> come out when they die. <laughs> the, the job's nearly done. Hey, did you enjoy your walk? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knackered now. <laughs> oh, so, as I was saying, hang on a sec. So, as I was saying, do I need charity shops anymore? I mean, like it is for fun, obviously, but I can actually find some really good stuff. We all do, which, you know, a reseller YouTuber, just pick one and they'll show you what they found. And it's amazing. And I guess it's all about price points. So say like, okay, I've, this is just one very bad example. In terms of clothing, like, I've got a, it's not a supplier, it's like a kilo kind of sale, but one of my suppliers uh, that I very rarely go to at the moment because it's just a little bit too far away, um, and I haven't been in a while actually, I might go back, but I've checked the website, and basically sports shorts are £2 a pair, and you can go in and you can pick yourself, it's absolutely fine. So this is just an example, sports shorts, and... <sighs> Minimum sports shorts, depending on the brand. This is Bowden and it's basically like brand new. They're like swim shorts. Three pounds from Sense and that's cheap for the size and for that brand. But this is an Adidas one and guaranteed it'll probably be about four or five pounds in certain charity shops because they say, oh, Adidas, it's a brand. So it's all about price points. And you can say like, okay, two pound these were three you're only saving like you're only spending like an extra pound and you say yeah but what if i end up buying a hundred pairs all of a sudden instead of spending 300 pound to 400 pound i'm spending only two and sometimes they, they do a deal so hmm 
What do you think of me getting a real job and quitting this reseller, Mark? <laughs> well, my son does eBay and um, he buys and sells things amongst other things. And he said, does he make any money on it? And I said, well, yes, he does. But I said, that's come from about five years of research. Oh, and the rest. And the rest, yeah. <laughs> Um, into items. I said he can go onto a car boot sale. I said and he can pick up the mankiest little thing going. And I'd say to him, what the bloody hell are you buying that for? And he'll buy it for 50p. I said, but then, I said he could end up selling that on for about 20, 30 pound because he can eye up what is actually a collectible. I said he did very well on something the other day. I said he paid 60p for it and he actually made a hundred pounds on it. It's 130 actually. Yeah. I'll have you near. Well, I said over 100 pounds. <laughs> I said, but that was a collectible. I said, because he'd done his research and he knows what to buy. Hey, what would you say? Because I've literally been talking about this today. Oh, really? Um, in terms of charity shops. I, I've, I've been doing some numbers and I could cut out charity shops completely from my sourcing habits. What do you think about that? Well, that would be a shame because I think charity shops do benefit from resellers. I know resellers get more money, but at the end of the day, if the charity shops are making um, what they're asking for, what they're asking for, and they're making money for a charity, there's nothing wrong with that. So people who say that you shouldn't buy from charity shops and then sell on for more, I don't think I actually understand the full circle of trade. Yeah. Because let's be honest, what happens? Supermarkets will buy from um, farmers. farmers and and uh, you know resource from from local companies and then resell that make at a higher it, price. and then they buy it and then they will resell it at a higher price. Why is it got to be different if it's from a charity mm. shop and then selling on for a higher price? No, I, I mean like in terms of like you know my goals like trying to get a supplier for clothing. Yes. Well, I've got the um, all those kilo sales lined up and those businesses yes. that. So technically, I could only go to them for clothing yeah, yeah. and bypass charity, charity shops, shops, really. Yeah. You wouldn't get the range of goods that you've got now. That's but it. It's it about would be variety. Depending on what you would want to do. If you wanted to sort of narrow your your business down to niche clothing down. and niche it right the way Not really, because I think it's boring just going after one well, thing. Well, exactly. I'll so there you go. That's Mother's Logic. There you go. My logic. That's Mother's Opinion on the matter of... Uh, cutting out charity shops. I mean, I'll have more time. You will have more time, but you won't get the variety of bits. That's business. it. It's variety. So, it's fun. I, maybe, you know what? I love charity shopping and thrift shopping. But maybe it's your charity shop, you might not have to go quite as often, but you can get, you can still get the items that you want, a varied amount of items that you want. So you can still do that. You can still have your fingers in the pie there, but you don't need to go as much to charity shops. Final question. Yeah. A troll said that I look like Claire Balding, now can't unsee it. <laughs> I don't Do I look so. like Claire Balding? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I might have done my hair again, Blown. <laughs> Claire Balding. <laughs> what on earth are you looking at? Someone I... said I look like Claire Balding. I don't know. There's That's a troll out so there. Nice, Who's trolling my son? Leave him be. What? <laughs> Football. Your advice, your wisdom of the, you know, hundred years you've been on this planet. <laughs> um, so I've decided I might cut out charity shops out of my sourcing network. Because the clothing that I, what I'm getting from charity shops is mainly clothing, and I can get that from kilo sales, suppliers, that kind of thing. What's your opinion? It's, a, it's a, a, an easy source, that's all. Thank you, it's convenient, isn't it? It's an easy source. And mum had a good point, it's variety. Yeah, it's an easy source. But there's no guarantees that anything well, will be there. You're eclectic, I mean, there's always other stuff there, isn't there? Wisdom from the septuagenarian, I can't say that word. Well, we win in. Oh no, no, still drawing. Still drawing. Good idea, bad idea. They brought it on themselves, England though. What do you think, Buster? Okay, so I'm going to do a um, bit of a breakdown because I've done some 
uh, pros and cons. I've done pros and cons. So if it was just go off clothing, charity shops are becoming more expensive. Um, they just know what they've got. They know what it goes on eBay, but they don't seem to realize that the entirety of eBay's uh, sellers all, what, however, hundreds of millions don't walk past their shop every day. <laughs> oh, don't go into their shop. So yeah, the charity shop, no matter what you think of it, is getting expensive. Kilo sales, you pay a premium, but it's still cheaper per item than a charity shop on average. Um, they are a time suck. So you've got to go to the place, you've got to walk around, you've got to look through. But then again, so does Kilo Sale, you've got to go there. <laughs> um, I suppose there are no guarantees as well. You could go in and you could find nothing, just like what happened in Bearwood. Um, and the quality there is like, I find that charity shops really don't look at stuff. And they just see a brand and they think, oh, I'll just put it out. And there's like holes in it, stains in it. There's like the quality. Yeah, it varies. Usually, if it's a good charity shop, you can tell because the clothing doesn't really have holes in. But yeah, sometimes it can. Uh, yeah, the charity shop pros. So that was the cons, is the pros. Um, it's fun. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is kind of fun shopping it, thrifting, and uh, that side of it is, is fun. And you are supporting a good cause as well. You are, you know, supporting a charity, and usually you're supporting them to the extent of like a couple of hundred pounds if you're lucky, <laughs> uh, depending on how many times you go a week. Uh, yeah, endless supply. I feel like there's so much stuff in the world. They're always going to get free stock, and they're, well, sorry, they're always going to get stock. And they're always going to have something coming in, and it's like it's like something new every time. You can leave it a couple of weeks, or maybe a week, and then go back, and then something new's on the shelf. It's like kind of like it's a nice kind of feeling. The variety of stuff, uh, also convenience. Convenience, like I've literally just been to the shop today. Um, I went to go and get some shopping, and because there's a charity shop next door, I went in. I only bought one thing, but um, yeah, still there in it uh yeah so kilo sales like i said they're they're very standard um they're only on certain time like the ones that i like to go to they're only on certain times a month whereas charity shops are open nearly every day uh the time and travel so you still have to go there and everything and have a look and sometimes it can be quite Sometimes it can be quite like busy and it's a bit it's a bit cramped, don't like it. And like in terms of pricing, yeah, it's it's, it's technically depending on how many how much you buy, where you buy, what deals are on at the kilo sale. Um there's one that I'm gonna miss unfortunately, but that's ten pound a kilo. Oh, so good. I didn't end up missing it, I ended up going to it. <laughs> it's in Manchester, it's uh, £10 a kilo, it's by Blue Rinse. We've got a shop on Oldham Road and it's uh, right around the corner and it's really good. I mean, I say it's really good, it's very kind of like Hamish, you do actually have to root around and I'd, I would suggest going early because it does get a lot busier as it, you get on. Uh, yeah, so I feel like, and I've done like, where can I get them? If I don't go to charity shops, where can I get stuff? And I've got like a little table there that I was just thinking about some of the things that I could I could technically cut it out. Uh, so clothing, I go to, to jumble sales. We like a jumble sale uh, and kilo sales. That's going to be like the prime place I get my clothing from. I can still get them stuff at car boots, and I can still go to like Facebook Marketplace, but primarily kilo sales, uh, like bric-a-brac, homeware, that kind of stuff. Uh, car boots, auctions, jumble sales, Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah. I don't think auctions is mainly like the one place where I used to go and then I'm kind of flutter in between because I don't know auctions they kind of just sell like trays of stuff and you can get lucky um, and it's a great way to kind of like sharpen your skills and sharpen your knowledge um, in terms of like homeware and pottery and stuff um, yeah so probably car boots is probably the best one and auctions uh, toys and electronics uh, definitely car boots and Facebook marketplace to a lesser extent, jumble sales because they're not on all the time, uh, and when they're on, they're like 
you, there's no guarantee and you know it's like sometimes it's a little run like church jumble sale some that can be good but you know, uh, you're more likely to find stuff out like car boots i don't know maybe i should treat i feel like maybe i should treat um charity shops like like i'm trying to reduce like my meat content throughout the week <laughs> um and yeah i feel like maybe instead of eating it like five times a week maybe only eat it like three so technically like i could only i could go to the charity shop maybe once a week instead of like two or three times a week um or maybe only go when i'm like out and about i don't know think of it uh, like your meat consumption or maybe in smaller quantities <laughs> uh, maybe only go like for five minutes yeah so i don't know it's just something that i was thinking about and like Technically, I don't, I could survive. My clothing side of the of my business could survive without it. It was food for thought. What are your thoughts on this? Do you feel like you need to go charity shopping anymore? Or are you at the point where you've got suppliers? Have you got uh, different methods? You know, sharing, sharing's caring at the end of the day. But please make your voices heard down below. And yes, I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,